What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, the one and only Luther. Today's video is about another gift car giveaway. I'm going to walk around the car, show y'all the ins and outs of my 1975 Buick Sabre Convertible, and I'm going to tell y'all an estimate on some things. I'm going to tell you the exact amount I spend on others. If you can guess the exact amount I spend at the end, leave it in the comment section, you can win a gift card. Simple as that. All you got to do is listen, watch the video from front to end, add everything up, Put it down in the comment section. All right, y'all. We're going to start off at the front of the car. We're going to walk around it. Give y'all a preview. So y'all can see everything on it. Before we go into detail and start talking about everything that I paid for. We also going to talk about the things I replaced. That I had to replace. We're going to talk about uh, the three or four different times I redid my interior. So everything's going to come into play, man, to win this gift card. So when I say total amount, I'm talking about buying a car from the first time I fixed it up to the second, to the third, to the final time, which is what you see now, which is the fourth time, how much money I spent, you know, buying rims, selling rims. I mean, we're going to go into detail, so you got to be paying attention. You got to watch the video from the front to end to really understand. I mean, we're going to pop up in the trunk. I'm going to teach y'all non-Texas boys about a uh, pop trunk. So y'all know what that setup look like. I'm going to teach y'all about swingers. Y'all don't know nothing about them. Most of y'all know what kind of tires those are. Bold tires. 1975 Buick Saber Convertible Custom. Been having this car since 2012. All right, first we're going to talk about the paint. I ain't going to walk around the car again, but I see everything that's candy apple red on the bumper, the bumper fillers, the dust plate, or dust cover, engine bay, the hood. show y'all the sticker right there. Pay attention to that because uh, something's going to change about that. Sosa Collision down in Corpus Christi, Texas. That's who painted my car. I said it before in the previous video. So if you didn't catch that, Sosa Collision. He's also known as Leo Sosa on Facebook. Same thing on IG, man. Y'all can hit him up, get a quote. Go get a paint job, man. He'll look out. So also, we have the speaker covers in here. As y'all can see. This top is candy apple red, but that one did by Sosa, so I ain't going to include that in the price. Got our fifth wheel right here that painted. Just the shell part, obviously. So on the paint job, this is the one I'm going to give y'all an estimate. Between $6,500 and $7,000. All right, y'all. Next, we're going to talk about this candy apple red convertible top. Every time I'm at a car show, man, I get hundreds of people asking me, man, where'd you get that top done at? Who did it for you? I'm trying to be one of one. So if I give y'all my secret, then you're going to have the same thing. All I'm going to say is I paid $1,000 for material. Then that top I had underneath there was a Stay Fast canvas top. That was $600. I took that top and the material to one of my buddies. Had him put that on. Charged me $400 to stitch it on the Stay Fast top. Another $400 to install it on the frame. So, stitched on and installed, eight hundred thousand dollars worth of material, another six hundred, fourteen hundred plus a thousand, that's twenty four hundred. I'm adding it up for y'all. I shouldn't even be adding it up, but I'm gonna add it up for y'all. It's twenty four hundred in the top alone. All right, next here we got the Texas Wire Wheel Swingers, Eddie Folds. 
elbows, in vogues. We call them Pokemons. We call them all type of different names. But Texan Wine Wheels, the makers of the rims. So we got 20 inch Vogue's on 20 inch G15's. If you're not from Texas or Louisiana, that number at the end stands for how many inches it pokes out. So that right there pokes out 15 inches. These brand new cost you about six grand rims and tires. Luckily, I bought mine for my partner with a spare rim for the fifth for $4,500. So $4,500 is what I paid for all four plus the rim in the fifth. Not the whole kit, but the rim. So add that up, $4,500 plus everything else. I'm going to be chopping this video up a little bit to make it not boring. So you'll see me at one view and then I'll switch to another view of the car instead of just keep walking around in circles. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and come to the back. So right here we got a fifth wheel, a.k.a. Continental kit, NG Classic. I paid $500 for that. We have an actuator that goes with this that lets it up and down. That was another $100. Getting everything installed, I said another $200. So that's 500 plus another 106 plus getting everything installed, 800 dollars. And just for the kit, we already talked about paint and we already talked about the price of that rim. So let's go to the front. Let me show y'all the big daddy grill we got on front. All right, originally I had this did by Mr. Clark off South Pope's Oak in Houston, Texas. I paid $1,400 for that. I came back about three years later to a Roman at Slab Boulevard. Linked up with him. He blessed my game. Put this mesh in there, man, so I can be one of a kind. First person you've seen with a big daddy grill with mesh in there. That was me. So we got the mesh and the headlight bezel inside the bumper. As y'all can see, I'm a Texan fan. Even though I'm from Corpus Christi, Texas, I'm still with that age time. Obviously by the style of car, y'all can tell because it's originated in Houston, Texas. And we got the big grill right here. So original, like I said, it had bars on there. That bars look, look pretty good, but man, that mesh is, man, y'all look at it. Let me turn it sideways so y'all can get a better view. So I spent $1,100 with them, getting that made with the custom emblem the match on the trunk with the belts and buckle. So you had $2,500 just on this front end. Next, we're going to go to the interior. Now, before I go into all the detail about this interior that's in there currently, I'm going to tell y'all when I first bought it, I went to Inahosas in uh, Corpus Christi. I spent $2,600 getting this interior done. I sold the seats out of it for 800. I'm gonna let y'all do the adding and subtracting. Turn around, put new seats in there, the seats you currently see right now. I paid $400 for all four of them bucket seats. Got my interior did, wasted $1,500 for the person. Turn around, spent 2,000 more. Went to a guy that I'm still cool with this day. But when it was done, I just didn't like it. You know, half of the idea was mine, the other half was his, so I couldn't even be mad at him. So that was two grand right there. Went to another guy. Mm, me and that guy. No, we had words. He's the one that actually did the dash. So everything you see on that dash, outside of it being wrapped, he did that. So that's a whole custom dash right there. So I spent a thousand dollars with him for the dash. I gave him another fifteen hundred dollars to start doing my interior. We got into it when I picked my car up. I ain't had shit in that bitch but seats. Excuse my language, but I had nothing in there but seats. So add all that up. Them the L's I took to what you see now. I paid 
$3,000 between the interior right now and what I got did in the trunk. It was something simple that he did for me. So it was three grand. I'll let y'all see that in just a minute. So he did all this, made to where it lights up. The Buick symbol up front, all that lights up. TVs, 20 inch TV in the dash. TVs on the headrest. Now that three grand, that's gonna exclude this middle console cause that console that he made pretty much broke apart after about eight months so i had to get everything redid i went to 501 customs in corpus christi got them to redo that we'll talk about the price on that in just a minute so when that console pretty much busted up fell apart i went to 501 customs paid fourteen hundred dollars got this middle console did I spent a couple more hundred dollars getting them gauges right there installed. Uh, electronics, the wires between all the electronic speakers, TVs, subs, amps. I'm at about $3,000. So next, I'm going to pop open the trunk and we're going to go over that. And like I said, that three grand is including what I got in the trunk. Now when y'all hear this noise, there's something we like to do as Texas boys. You can hear that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's my trunk popping open. That's what we call pop trunk. Trunk lets up, fifth wheel goes down. As you can see, there goes the actuator I was talking about. So I was actually messing with a sub about a week ago. So as you can see, my bottom lid, that's what we call a bottom lid down here, is not even on. It's just laying there. This is the top lid. I wasn't really impressed with it in the end, but since it was pretty much thrown into the price, like it was free, I can't complain. So this right here was part of that three grand. We already went over the subs and the other price. So far, we talked about paint, rims, interior, top. We went over the fifth, we went over the trunk, went over electronics, went over the grill. I say in little things like little shit, redoing these plates right here, door seal plates, door knobs, having that custom for the lock. Man, all the little things, man. I'm probably like another. Replacing that chrome trim. Buick emblem. Man, I'm probably like another thousand dollars into all that. Hey, make sure y'all go subscribe. The one and only Luther. Man, I'm putting this on everything. So when I ride around, they see that. These emblems right here actually paid about fifteen dollars for eight of them just this part that goes on the cap only and i spent about another fifty dollars getting them painted but i was inside the paint price so don't add that on all right y'all last but not least we have the motor gilbert rodriguez and corpus christi this is who did mine y'all can hit them up on facebook and ig with that name older hispanic guy he has an older black gentleman that works in there with him man they've been doing it for about 40 years this right here is a chevy 350 with vortex heads and lifters it has a mild cam on it i do it at the exhaust put 40 series flow masters on there uh rebuilt the transmission did some work to it man because your heart got to be right you can't have all this on the outside and that's the problem nowadays man boys go spend 20 plus thousand dollars on a car and it run like shit i think eventually i'm gonna switch up to efi 
But right now, though, we're going to keep it carbureted. So I spent $5,000 with him. And it was pretty much a, was a trade because I had a Buick 350 in there. He took that one out, kept that motor. I'm pretty sure he rebuilt it and sold it to somebody else. But uh, $5,000 is what I spent with him. So add all that up. Everything. And put that total amount in the comment section. Wait. I almost forgot the most important thing. Buying a car. I spent $8,200 buying this car. It had candy apple paint on it, but that paint was probably 8 to 10 years old. And it had 26-inch blades on there. So I paid $8,200, and I sold the rims months later for $1,200. So like I said before, man, add everything up. Put it down below in the comment section. So like I said multiple times throughout the video, make sure you like and comment on every video. Make sure you're subscribed to be a winner. Leave that exact amount in the comment section. If y'all don't win this one, it's okay. I got 10 gift cards at the house. Not one, not two, not three, but 10 at the house. And I just ordered five more. So these giveaways are finna be coming left and right. Oh, hold up real quick. I can't end this video without letting y'all listen to the motor.